From Lepenbo. I'm sure you'll reach 5,000 in no time. Sun Ken Rock was awesome. Here are my questions. In Clip Studio Paint, what is your inking brush? And is there a link to it? And do you have any tips on making expressive ink art? You are using a metal tip in your tablet pen. I have never seen this before. Why do you use metal tips? Aren't you worried that it will scratch or damage the screen? What is your advice for artists trying to improve their skills in any area? In addition to practice, I mean. You draw a lot. It's almost superhuman. How do you keep yourself from getting burned out and exhausted? How do you keep yourself excited about drawing? Not everyone starts their art career young. I am almost 40, but I am above average in drawing skills. Am I too old to realistically consider a career in comics and manga? Wow. There are so many questions. Thank you so much. I don't think I can answer them all, but I'll try my best. I'm using the Korean version of Clip Studio. This is the pen brush that I use. I don't know the correct name for this type of pen in English. Maybe it's called a textured pen. Recently, I've been using the real G pen for drawing cartoon style manga and my avatar character. I use the textured pen for Dr. Stone. In my case, I don't change the brush size when I'm inking. Of course, I work by changing the size of the brush when I'm coloring or toning, but I don't change the size of the pen for inking. My brush size is about 39 to 41. The important thing is whether you can feel the pressure or not. Am I holding my tablet pen that has a metal tip? Yes, can you see it? I didn't use digital usually. I didn't even know that a metal tip existed. Come out. There we go. Can you see it? Now I'm using digital for my work, but I love to draw manga the traditional way. I love to work with brush and ink. During the lockdown due to the pandemic, I couldn't bring my assistants to my studio for help. I've been working alone in my studio for the past two months. Two out of my three assistants went on vacation, and I gave them homework to study. And only one helped me with the background drawing at his home. I switched from traditional methods to digital ones for their increased efficiency. Consequently, I now rely on a tablet pen and digital tools. As for whether metal tips scratch or damage the screen, my screen is shielded by protective shells. So it hasn't suffered any scratches or damage yet. But plastic tips wear out so quickly. They need to be replaced frequently. Even though they already require frequent replacement, the protective shells tend to further accelerate the wear of the plastic tips. Sometimes when completing a single page, it's necessary to use at least two or more plastic tips and replace them as needed. So, if I exclusively use plastic tips for my manga work, I'll need at least around 100 spares a month. Additionally, I used to use plastic tips as well and have kept 160 extra tips just in case. It's better to be prepared for any unexpected circumstances. I've heard about the metal tips currently available in the market, so I'm using those instead of plastic tips. They also have minimal wear and tear and can be used for a long time. I'm not completely satisfied, but I'm still using it. For now, everything is fine. There's been no damage at all. If damage occurs, I only need to replace the protective shells. Thank you for asking. How do you keep yourself from getting burned out and exhausted? How do you keep yourself excited about drawing? How does Boich stay excited about drawing without getting burned out? This is a question that many people ask me. My answer is simple. I can draw manga every day. Yes, sometimes I don't feel like working every day. I want to play and rest too. But I changed my routine somehow. I can work every day but take breaks often. And I don't play games. 
I haven't played games since the new millennium. You know, playing games is so fun that once you start, it's hard to stop. So I haven't started to play the game. If I loved playing games, I wouldn't be able to work on Dr. Stone Weekly now. But I do have hobbies, and I enjoy driving with my wife. However, I don't indulge in it if it will interfere with my work. This is my work routine. Draw one page. And take a break. Finish the page. And take a break. Although it may change at times, this is essentially my basic routine. I wake up in the morning, start and finish a page. And then I enjoy a nice breakfast. Work. Rest. Work. And have a lunch break. And work. Rest. And work. Like this. I have a nice meal between work and rest time. I finish five pages a day and always take two breaks while working. Even though I work every day, I don't feel tired because I minimize the strain on my body. I don't work continuously or push myself too hard. But since I switched to digital, my wrist hurts sometimes. When I was serializing both Dr. Stone and Origin at the same time, I experienced some muscle pain, so I frequently took Tylenol or used pain patches. I guess I don't seem to have gotten used to digital work yet. Not everyone starts their arts career young. I am almost 40, but I am above average in drawing skill. Am I too old to realistically consider a career in comics and manga? You know, Lapin. There's no such thing as being too late. You can even start at 50. It's not too late. But, the truth is, there are advantages to starting early. If you start at an older age, you'll be at a disadvantage in many ways. Especially in sports and the arts fields like playing piano, football, boxing, or MMA. The earlier you start, the more benefits you have. But there's no such thing as being too late. However, there can be delays. It's too late if you keep thinking. Oh, I'll do this tomorrow. I'll take a break for today. Maybe tomorrow, and the day after as well. That's when it becomes late. Playing games and enjoying parties with your friends. Well, what do you say? It's late. If you start manga, don't worry about your age and study it hard every day. Regardless of your age, it's crucial to have this mindset when you start drawing manga. What do you want to draw? And where can you do it? That's what's important. Let's say you start studying manga at the age of 40 and dedicate 15 years to mastering it. To create highly detailed and realistic drawings, comics, and manga. For 15 years to study hard. And you'll become a mangaka at the age of 55. Then, you'll only work as a professional mangaka for 10 years until you retire at 65. If you debut at 55 and start serializing, you'll be active as a professional manga artist for about 10 years. You may have decided to become a mangaka because you want to do it for as long as possible, right? If you want to start studying manga at the age of 40 and become a professional mangaka, wouldn't it be great to achieve that around 43 within three years? After three years of hard study, no weekends, no holiday breaks, study hard for 15 hours every day. Even if you do that, there's no guarantee that you can become a realistic drawing style comic or manga artist within three years. However, during these challenging three years, you can discover the manga style that suits you and continue with it for as long as you want. Fortunately, there are many different manga styles in the world. For weekly manga magazines, we typically work on 19 to 20 pages a week. We have monthly manga magazines too. For monthly magazines, we produce 32 pages per month. You can start an 8-page series of cartoony-style, slice-of-life manga in a monthly manga magazine. 
Then you work on 8 pages a month, drawing 2 pages a week. There are many ways to become a mangaka at any age. That's the beauty of manga. Think about what kind of manga you want to draw. The situations you're in. And what you're capable of. Can you draw ongoing manga weekly or monthly? Consider these factors carefully. Working harder than younger individuals and worrying about your age. Do you know I am the oldest mangaka in Shonen Jump? I joined Shonen Jump when I was 44. Most authors start their careers in their teens and 20s and leave the field around the age of 40. But my first series in Shonen Jump started in my mid-40s. Now at 47 years old, I am the oldest mangaka in Shonen Jump. And I am only a 3-year experienced rookie in Shonen Jump. So am I late to be a mangaka? Are we late? No, we are not. Just work harder than anybody. So it is never too late. But if you don't even try, be lazy, and don't even start. No matter how young you are, it is late. Thanks for your questions, and I hope my answers have been helpful.